Santos is one ball with a 30 minute time limit. Surprise that we have not really seen or heard from Akira Kwan since the implosion of Tantra at the end of War Chamber a few months back. But one thing is for sure, Kwan looks to be ready for a fight. We know Akira Kwan is fearless, he will never back down from anybody. But is he truly prepared to face the judge? is a man of passion and purpose, a watchful protector over justice and mercy. And he's been an athlete his entire life, from the 2012 NFL Draft to the Arnold Classic, where he was a Luke Rickno champion bodybuilder. EJ and Duca has conquered many different worlds, and he's done so much in conquering the world of Major League Wrestling, from being a standout war chamber from pinning seven men in an elimination match, from eliminating one-third of battle riots. E.J. Anduka has dominated everybody who stepped in his path, but Juan knows it took him out the war chamber, and Juan has a lot to prove. Juan attacking before the bell. And Rich, this was an oh. open contract by EJ and Duca, which means it was Akira Kwan who decided to sign that contract, who decided to put himself in harm's way and accept this fight. But if I'm Akira Kwan, I want to put the world on notice after Contra's to dissolving, but I'm not sure if I pick this man as the victim. As you said, Joe, the judge has dominated the competition. Former defensive end at Sam Houston State University. You mentioned the NFL draft. I mean, this is a guy who is a blue chipper. Open challenge, and this is what you brought. And you think about where EJ and Duca was. We've talked about it before. How do you let this guy out of a contract? Absolutely. How do you overlook a guy who oh, broke several records at the NFL combine? 33 reps at 225, a, a vertical leap of 42 inches. This man is just inhuman in what he's able to accomplish. And Akira Kwan is one of the most dangerous athletes who has run rough shot over MLW for so long, but Nduka is dominating and overpowering Akira Kwan. Well, Joe, you touched on it. We got a taste of the dominance of EJ Nduka in the Battle Riot last July. Set that record for eliminations. And still undefeated. So much so it's been difficult to find oh. opponents. Oh. What a running power slam gives Kwan the scenic tour. And we've talked about Kwan before. A pit fighter who competed in Singapore and the tar pits of India. He knows kickboxing, jujitsu, Shaolin Kempo karate. And none of this is helping Akira Kwan. One kick to the, oh, to the side of the head, but, but Nduka shrugs it off. What power. The overhand forearm, and now a nearly lifeless Akira Kwan. Up on the shoulders, and look at the smile, the wry smile on Nduka's face. My God! EJ Nduka, an undeniable force and an emphatic victory. seen anyone treat any member of, of what was Contra in such a dominant fashion. We've seen Quan put people on the shelf. We've seen him injure people. We've seen him do at his will for many, many years, but this is all that remains after the sentencing from the judge, E.J. Duke. And 
Rich, what do you think? Is Salas faithful? All his friends and neighbors and family out here think about the judge. What's next for EJ and Duca? What is this? No! No! 